of you guys know our history. We've been around for 27 years now. And so we're, we're always trying to, to come up with something new. And, and we, we introduced the uh, Stingers uh, to you guys last year, which is the aluminum frame thinner, thinner gun. And so this, this is about half the width of our normal gun. The uh, machining the aluminum frames is, is, uh, is quite expensive. We don't do it in-house and we were having trouble getting them and so it really slowed down our process of getting these introduced to the marketplace. So it's one of those where we had a big introduction and it sort of went like this because we couldn't get parts. We do a lot of fundraisers, we donate a lot of guns for different things and, and this one we're, we're good friends with the Three Doors Down guys and we just came back from an auction so we did a gun like this one. So, but it's, it's amazing, you know, it's a that, the, the aluminum ones are like 389 MSRP uh, at the auction. They went for like 1400 bucks a piece. So, uh, that, was, that, was, that was good. Yeah, it was, it was a good fundraiser. From there, we decided to move to more of a stainless steel frame with the Stinger. Like I said, this one retails for about 389 And so we're really used to working with stainless steel. All of our guns are stainless steel. This was the first aluminum one other than the bullpup uh, that we had done. And so we, we got this rolling, uh, come find out we can do it for about $110 cheaper than the aluminum one. And so these, these are gonna come in at about 279. The 22, which is, this is one of the things we're introducing today. You know, a lot of people have been asking for this. So not only are we introducing the Singer in the 22, which we've had a lot of people asking for, and especially at this price point, um, we're, we're expecting these things to really go crazy. So, this is sort of funny. We, we had 22 in our regular guns for years and we did it as an accessory barrel. And so we actually took it off the market for about two, maybe three years. And <laughs> we'd see barrels, 22 barrels on eBay for $3,000. <laughs> We're going, wow, we need to yeah, put, start, start putting button. barrels on eBay, you know? <laughs> uh, so, so we decided to, since we're going to do this, we'd bring back the 22 long rifle in the big frame and do it as a rough series gun because uh, the Mini, which is a polished version of this, is like a $540 gun. Uh, this one is $269. And so it's the rough series, uh, and, and this is more of the tackle box gun. Yeah. And so uh, uh, anyway, we, we decided to go ahead and do it, and we could fit the 22 to match that. But you can take that barrel off and put the 410 barrel on and shoot it with no problem. Uh, you're just sending that out as an accessory barrel and getting it to fit is a problem. So we were doing it as the gun. Anyway, we've got uh, other stingers. We've got the 9mm, we've got the, uh, the uh, 380. And then there's people like Bo, which is, and where's my 38? So here's the 38. So we're not going to do a 357 in the uh, Stinger. Uh, it'll handle it with no problem. Uh, but for for recoil, you know, we're going to we're going to keep it at 38 special right now. 38, the, great. The, the, the bigger frame, like this is a this is a 38 357. So this one's shooting the 357 with. Okay, so the rough neck is a 357 38, the rowdy is the 410, and this one comes in at 299, and this one comes in at uh, 277, so in that range. And when we introduced these things, man, it just, they just took off like a rocket. We, we introduced them in June of 2019, and uh, the, 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 it, it literally quadrupled the amount of guns we produce just because of the price points. And that's one reason why we wanted to go ahead and uh, introduce these other rough series guns uh, along with the, uh, uh, the Stingers. So that's three. We care, everybody. Yeah, that's nice.
been several years now since we reviewed the uh, kangaroo shoulder holster on gunblast.com. It was different than, than uh, most shoulder holsters in that it didn't, wasn't bulky, wasn't the harness you wear outside. You can hide it easy. Anyway, it held small to medium guns. Now they've come up with one that'll hold a full frame gun. Let's start over. 